I'm gonna do my famous reverse seared steak. Uh, let me show you how I do it. I've got the oven heating up at 275. I have put the New York strips on a sheet pan and a um, wire rack on top of that. Then I've salt and peppered it. Okay, so that's, that's step one. I'm gonna be making this blue cheese butter to go on it. This is from the Jessica Seinfeld Food Swings cookbook. There's so many great things in this cookbook. So that's gonna be um, on top. Then I've got some mushrooms I've sliced. I'm gonna saute these in a moment. And I'm gonna make some cream spinach. You know, this is like a bushel of raw spinach that goes down to like, you know, a thimble, a thimble amount of actual cooked spinach. So have some water getting ready to boil. That didn't help. <laughs> and just waiting for the oven to get to 275 and we put the steaks in. The oven's ready, so I just put the steaks in. Um, I want them to get to roughly 125 degrees um, to be the internal temperature. That's gonna be for medium rare, 135 for medium. Keep in mind when you sear them in a hot iron skillet after this process, they'll cook a little bit more. So you definitely should err on the side of undercooking a bit because you can always kind of cook it a little bit more on the um, actual stove top. But I think it, if I remember correctly, it takes about 40 minutes perhaps. Um, I will let you know exactly how long it takes tonight. You have to have a meat thermometer for this. This is the one I use. I don't know who makes this. You can get it on Amazon, I'm sure. But this is critical to the cooking process or you will F it up. Steak, steaks are out of the oven. I'm doing this in real time, by the way, so you're coming along for the ride with me. They took about 40 minutes. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it. Now, they don't look beautiful. Keep in mind, we're gonna sear them in some hot butter. I'm gonna throw in some garlic and some fresh thyme. This over here, this is the cream spinach. I blanched the spinach and now I'm um, draining it in some paper towels. This is half an onion I've diced and about two, maybe three garlic cloves. This is a very simple Martha Stewart recipe. You can Google this, you don't need to follow along with me. But um, it's just a nice accompaniment to the steak and the mushrooms. Also worth noting is that while I cook, I have some music playing in the background. I am drinking a little cocktail. This is this really great Kettle One cucumber um, mint vodka, which sounds very, very summery, but it was 92 degrees here yesterday, so I'll do whatever I want. Some mint and Topo Chico. Um, I've got a really nice bottle of red I'm going to have with dinner. So it's, it's a nice ritual. I love cooking and I try to do it on Saturday nights kind of in a more um, laid back, you know, maybe food that needs a little bit more prepping and takes a little bit more time, but it's really fun for me. I love this. As a side note, I should let you know that I have not been drinking any alcohol, no wine, nothing, zero, zero booze, Monday through Thursday. Um, and I find one, my energy is so much better. My sleep is a gazillion times better. Um, and I really appreciate and savor it more on the weekends then. So just a little tip for me to you, if you're interested in dialing it back down, this is a really good system that works for me. Back to cooking. Um, here is the mushrooms, are the mushrooms. I don't know, I put like two tablespoons of olive oil in a um, hot pan and I've got, I don't know, it's a big thing of mushrooms. I, I can't tell you how much. And I clean them and I slice them. Now I'm sauteing them. This is almost ready for the spinach to go in. We're now searing it, flipping it. I'm gonna add some fresh thyme and knobs of butter. The spinach is ready to go, as are the mushrooms. So here's the final product. It's kind of dark in my dining room, but I don't need a lot because it's pretty rich. As you saw, all the ingredients that went in, mushrooms, a half the steak, and some cream spinach. Let's see. And then some wine. The blue cheese butter.